At 89, Lucy has more important things to worry about than selling the family plot. She thought the crematorium would be happy to take it off her hands. Boy, was she wrong. It's just been so frustrating to think that the crematorium people won't help me sell it. Buying and reselling burial plots has only recently come to light in, in, in recent years. We don't buy them back off people. It's been almost half a century since Lucy Johnson suddenly lost her husband Frederick and looking back at photos of him still makes her emotional. When he passed, Lucy decided to buy this beautiful plot at a crematorium in Brisbane's southeast, with room enough for eight people's ashes, with the intention for six of those to be filled with her immediate family. And they didn't have to worry about, you know, buying and, and finding. Lucy paid $300 for the plot, which was big money back in 1973. And that was extremely expensive. I had to get a loan of the money to pay for it. But five years ago, after her children decided they didn't want to be laid to rest in the plot, Lucy realised it wasn't for her either. So she had the crematorium remove her husband's ashes, instead scattering them out at sea. My husband, he loves fishing. It made Lucy rethink where she'd like her ashes to go, deciding on Johnson Flora Reserve, which is named after her ancestors, a pioneering family who settled in the area 144 years ago. That's what I thought. Well, that'd be a nice place for my ashes to go, as long as they're along the fence so nobody can stand on them. <laughs> No longer having any connection to the plot or reason to keep it, Lucy thought it would be a good idea to sell it. Well, it's in a lovely little area and it's got a little stream running near it with a little wooden bridge across the stream. Lucy initially thought Mount Thompson Memorial Gardens and Crematorium would buy the plot back from her, but they told her that's not an option. So she simply asked if they'd help in selling the plot to potential buyers, but again, the answer was no. So they won't even take anybody near to have a look at it because it's not theirs. So if they want to sell them, they have to privately sell them? On the Mount Thompson Memorial website, numerous plots are advertised for sale with prices starting from $4,774. Lucy has had to advertise hers on Facebook's marketplace. She believes her plot for eight people's ashes is worth around $32,000, but is willing to sell it for just seven and a half grand. I think that's a pretty fair price. We usually try to show you a really broad range of from what's a value option yeah. versus what's a um, love, more luxurious option. Yeah, like it's that. just absolutely ridiculous that nobody wants to plot. The Memorial Gardens and Crematorium is owned by InvoCare, the biggest funeral player in Australia. Listed on the ASX, they own White Lady Funerals, Simplicity Funerals and Value Cremations. The cemetery and crematory, they have operational costs. They are a business. If I was in that situation, I would actually look at assisting her any way that I could. Southern Cross Funerals Managing Director Matthew Quoker and his family have been in the industry for three generations. It's only been in recent times that buyback has been something that's been looked in within the industry. But it's up to the individual crematorium to determine their own terms and conditions. Some uh, regional cemeteries that a council run do actually purchase back plots from families. However, due to the red tape involved, they only offer to purchase back those plots at the original purchase price. To think that you've got to go to all this trouble to get it sold. You know, my advice to Lucy would be to speak to local independent funeral directors in the area. In a statement to a current affair, Mount Thompson Memorial Gardens confirms it can't facilitate the buyback or reselling of Lucy's plot. Senior managers have offered full support during this process and have been in regular communication, adding staff are available to show the plot to potential purchasers. I'm just hoping I'll be able to sell it. <laughs>